Hey, I'm Dale with Geek Culture and welcome to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Uh, here we go. I've been playing this game for quite a while, so don't be surprised. Yeah, look at my win streak. Negative 95. <laughs> um, I've been playing this game for a long time and uh, long story short, I found out that uh, the expansion that I knew has been out for a long time uh, was actually out on the PS4 for a long time and I've been waiting so I could get it. And boom, there it is, since September of 2017. So, all right, um, all the stuff in the upper left corner there, if it's surrounded in red, I've completed it and completed it on hard mode. So, since I got Afterbirth Plus, that's the newest uh, DLC, comes with a bunch of add-ons, a new character, a bunch of new uh, bosses and rooms and all this other stuff. Greed mode, pl uh, pl not plus, but hard greed mode. So, a lot of the things up here have reset. I've beaten the entire game with Samson, but now uh, greedier, that means I, I have to, like the, the scent sign there has to be surrounded in red. Nobody has that because greedier is the newest mode. Uh, but also, in the bottom left corner, that means I've beaten Mega Satan, which I know I've done for most characters, but then there's some who just it disappears for. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna play as, uh, we'll play as Maggie, and we'll try and do Super Satan on normal mode. Mega Satan, Super Mega Satan. All right, here we go. By the way, I'm Dale of Geek Culture. Make sure to check out the rest of our channel. There's so much awesome stuff. We've been posting a lot lately. And uh, there's so much to watch. Our, our shoot cast, which is all about wrestling. Uh, we've got two jerks and some guests, which is uh, Jason and Josh. And guests, usually Ziggy, which is uh, a great mainstay, if you ask me. Um, but finding a vibe. Oh, God. Oh, God. You might hear me say a lot of cuss words, um, I get into certain situations where, oh, I need bombs for this one. A wooden door, I can't break it with my tears? God, come on, tears are like the ultimate weapon. That's sweet, I can get two at a time. Ah, I love this game, <laughs> I'm sorry. Don't need that. My wealth, my penny, wealth of answers, don't know what that means, here we go. So this game is very cute, but it's also very biblical. Like the story is, uh, Isaac lives with his mom, and she uh, she watches evangelical TV broadcasts all day. So one day she hears God start talking to her, and she he's like, uh, "Kill your son. You love me, right? I need a sacrifice. Kill your son." So he tries to escape in a secret hatch in the basement. And uh, then the game begins. It's really super weird. He's super. Cr he's always crying, and it's just like it's it's weird. Maggie is of course Ma Mary Magdalene from the Bible. Boom and boom. Ball of bandages is an orbital thing. If I get another ball of bandages, it grows a face and shoots things. Uh, any fans of Super Meat Boy will recognize the character, especially once I get three balls of bandages. Uh, blue hearts are temporary, but they're nice to have. Pop that poop. Always gotta pop that poop. But uh, I see, I don't know where to begin. There's so much to speak about. Uh, in the upper left corner, that's my special ability that is inherent to Maggie. Uh, it's called the yum heart. So, like I said, the blue hearts are temporary. Uh, which means once they're gone, they're gone. But the red ones are, are this is a lot like The Legend of Zelda. Um, once the red ones are gone, you can fill them back up. Blue ones, just, they're gone. So, once I run out of one heart with uh, one, of, one of the red hearts, I can use the yum heart to automatically fill up the, well, at least one heart. 
<clears throat> and it's got a, a four green gauge, the gauge there. Uh, that means that whenever I run out, uh, whenever I use it, it, it takes me beating four rooms full of enemies in order to uh, use it again, which is fine. That's fine. Ooh. It's worth taking the one damage because that's 25 cents. Oh, yeah. So I got $26. That means uh, I've got five keys, and whenever I find a store, it'll be worth... I, I don't, those guys are new. Oh, shit. What do they do? They don't hurt me. They just push me. All right, fine. And they get tired. Sack of shit. Like I said, this is a new uh, new expansion, at least to me. And uh, that's new. All right, so the battery. I'm going to go ahead and use my um heart, even though I don't need to. Uh, if I were short, one red heart. Boom, I'd use that. Gauge goes away. Takes four rooms. See the dark gray rooms? Those are rooms I haven't explored. If they have enemies in them, and I beat them all, it fills one part of that gauge. This automatically fills it. Woo! That guy had a bomb in his head. Oh my god. Spiders are my worst enemy in this game. I say that now until I see the skeletons. Like the, uh, the skeletons from A Link to the Past. <laughs> They're such bullshit. Alright, so here's the, the merchant. I got a key. And I got $26. Which makes it worth opening. There's a donation bin up there. Every time I fill it up, I get something new. Eh, but I've already done it twice, so maybe not. So this guy here, this little spider, 15 bucks. It's kind of irrelevant, but I kind of like it because it adds another RPG element to the game. It shows me uh, life bars of enemies and how much damage I'm doing to them. I love that. It's simple, doesn't have to, to be a thing. I'm also gonna buy this because because it's red, it's on sale. Three bucks, I ain't got enough for it. Uh, keys I got enough of. This is a tarot card, random things. And this, I don't know what it does. It looks like it could be new. I'm gonna donate the rest of my money. If it lets me, it'll glitch out and cut me off, which is why it's not fucking full. Yeah. All right, so, oh, see, there's the uh, the life bar. I hit it once. It shows me how much life it's got left, but you didn't get to see the red text. Little bastards. The red text shows how much damage I've done in according to their actual hit point number. All right, so 35 is my damage to these guys. Woo, you did. They're not that difficult, but you don't want to get caught in front of one. Unless you have the space to move, of course. Woo. So otherwise, the spider, he just walks around the room and does literally nothing else, but that's fine. I like it. Yeah. All right, a battery. Useless. Don't need it. All right, so, yeah. I'll explain the room. The crown room is the automatic uh, big-time upgrade for, for the stage. Um, in between these bricks, like, it's surrounded by five on the right there. You got the coin room, that's your merchant. Crown, that's your item. And then down here, you've got your spike room, which costs health to get into. I've got enough, and I'm curious. It could have uh, a gray chest, red chests, gold chest. Gold chests require keys. They're like more likely to have better items. There's so much to explain. All right, red fire as opposed to orange fire. These shoot at you. Woo! So now there's a playing card on the right there. That, all right, the stars, may you find what you desire. I think that takes me to the crown room, which I don't really need. I don't know what this means, but I'm gonna keep it. All right. There's a lot of things in this game that you can memorize if you have that kind of memory. I don't. So a lot of the same items that I pick up, like I might know them, but I probably don't. Oh, there's a, see, there's three things that take up your, your card slot. 
two different kinds of cards and this thing. All right, that means, ooh, I used it. That means I can skip the boss, which I don't want to do because there's another super item plus the potential to go to a devil room or an angel room, which are both in incredibly beneficial. So I'm going to fight the boss. <laughs> More out. And we're going to see what we get. So I'm not going to use this card. Oh, yeah. Until there's a couple different kind of items in the room. Like other cards, pills, uh, which also take the place. So four things take the place of your card slot. Uh, but also you got your secondary item down there at the bottom left. I don't know what mine does, but whatever. I don't remember what it said anyway. It probably explained it. Sometimes they're cryptic, the ex explanations when you pick things up. Sometimes they tell you straight up what it does. Oh, God. Syringes are another random, not random, but another item that it's hard to memorize what they do. There's purple, green, yellow, red, blue. One of them randomizes all your stats. So I've got one speed, one shot speed, two attack, two... Uh, I can't remember what it is. Uh, multi like, see, I, I go this slow. One of them upgrades how fast that goes. Oh my god. Last one's luck. I, I, man. Speed of damage up. All right. So speed is in my actual speed. Damage is in my sword there. So sweet. Went up to three. Now here's a devil room. This happens with, like, you only can take so much damage in a, in a level. Or it won't appear. Shovel, that means I can... You, it's an upper left item, which means it has a cooldown. It costs one permanent health gone to buy. Uh, but it's the same thing as that card I used, Passage, to skip the boss. But I have it permanently, so I can just rush through the game and never upgrade myself. So, fuck that. So, what I'm looking for here are angel rooms, because they have keys, but they're dad's key. And that means that if I get two of them, then I can open the door in the very last world and fight super... Oh, bullshit! Super Satan. Mega Satan. Super Mega Satan. Oh, he's charmed. That means he's going to attack at other people. Okay. And he's not charmed anymore. And that was bullshit. Use the key to open a gold chest. To reveal a smaller gold chest, which also requires a key. Lucky me, I have a good handful of them. But in this one, if you open the chest, it's got the little sword icon on the map. If you open the chest, no matter what color it is, you have to fight three rounds of, of enemies. Which, okay. Oh, these guys. Oh, they're like red skeletons in Castlevania, but you can kill them once they're in jelly form. I love the fucking spider that shows me the game that I'm doing it. Oh, All right, so I survived. Gonna use my yum heart. Should have used it before I finished that last round there, but boom, now I'm back to full health. Let's go for the smaller room. These guys are bitches, but they lay things that lay more spiders of the variety that chase you. Oh shit, there's. Ooh. The cool thing about them is that they have to, like, fully expand in order to, like, release any of the... Oh, you bitch! All right, question mark card, question mark pill. They all have random effects every time you play, but once you use one, if you pick up that same color, it'll show you uh, what, it, what it was when you used it the last time. Limit party. Everybody go look up that meme right now. But don't blame me if you do. It's one of those things that you shouldn't Google. Uh, but Google Limit Party. Go for it. <laughs> All right, he's cursed. Means he's running away. Little bitch! Little bitch! All right. You gotta run from fights sometimes. Ow! Okay, nothing there but a key, which I... Oh, I don't need... I'm not gonna use my... Okay, so rocks. 
over holes. If I were to hit a, put a bomb right here, it would explode, the rock would cover the hole, and I could cross over into that section. I'm not wasting my one bomb on something I already have. Eight up! No! Die! Oh my god! Oh, yeah! Kill, kill somebody! Alright, so you've already seen the white ones. They chase you. That's right. Boom. Now they're all confused. They won't chase you. Oh! For a whole 10 seconds. The white ones don't shoot four directional fucking pellets. Tears? Do enemies fire tears? Alright. Auto big time item. I think that means that it can go through walls and circle the stage. But I'm not 100% sure. So let me collect it and see. Holy shot. Oh shit. Even better. Um, so every now and then, randomly rolled, I can roll or I can shoot a tear, the white one. Boom. That hits somebody. A ray of light comes down and shines from the heavens and kills the motherfucker. Because they're all evil. Oh, they did nothing. Yum heart. Might as well. Dog. Dog. Stop your barking. You're barking at nothing. The door's shut. There's a party going on down the road. Sounds like a good time. I'm gonna go ahead and buy that. Oh, I can't! Oh, shit. Alright, fuck it. Let's continue on. Well, that was a waste of a key. Pop that poop. Always pop the poop. In life, in games, in books, just pop the goddamn poop. Ooh, man, he did. Thanks for the heart. That's great. Tears, again, tears. The ultimate weapon. You didn't know. I didn't know until I played this game. Big dog. Like he was barking at nothing. Poison, you bitch. Oh, man. So, yeah. I've got some kind of randomized tier here, but... Oh, my God. The stain seat here. He's one of the hardest bosses, as far as I'm concerned. I am on normal, which means I'm... It's still difficult. It's so hard, this game. Sometimes. But with the... Uh... Oh, yeah. The holy shot, dude. That is so good. And, oh, I'm hurt. Whew. Oh, one hit. Come on. Yeah, also, pink, pink poop. You touch it, you get hurt. Mom's lipstick. Range up. Yay, I can shoot a little farther. <sighs> Should I bother? Nope. Let's keep it going. That's Isaac. No clue what he's saying, but he's dead in the attic for some reason. <laughs> Alright, that door closes and I have no reason why. I have no idea why. Okay, so black hearts. Act as the same... Oh, there they are! Goddamn skeletons. They're my worst enemy, not spy. So black hearts act the same as blue hearts. They're temporary. But once you run out of them, which typically hearts take two hits to to get rid of. See, I, I don't want to use it here. Once you get hit twice, or once depending on the strength of the attack, that heart will disappear and it will also clear the entire room of enemies, depending on the damage threshold that they they have. So it might be beneficial to hold that and use it on purpose in a certain room, or it just might happen in a room where I need it to because I'm just taking that much damage. So, oh, see, it's a temporary heart, which means going through that door would be worthwhile. But, no, I can't. And I'm not gonna. Oh, no, not the green goop. Alright, I've only got half a heart. Let's do it. 
Oh, he didn't. Sh oh, he didn't show up. But hey, I didn't lose anything. I gained a key. Whoopie do! I've got a whole twelve keys now. Woo! Woo! <laughs> no big deal. I knew that was gonna happen. All right, so. Ooh. Gray chests are usually full of bullshit. I got 12 keys. I've got this room over here. Of course, I'm gonna go in it. Monster manual. Temporary buddy generator. It takes three rooms. Oh, should I? Yeah, I'm gonna keep it. But see the dude I've got with me? Oh! I shoot through him and I get two. And he follows my path. Oh my god, okay, I get it. Oh, that's never happened before! Monsters don't have, what is this? What kind of store is this? My God, there's so many things. I've only got five, six coins, seven coins. Okay, I could afford anything in this room. Piggy bank, I don't know what it does. I've got eight coins. And a fucking, what the fuck? Okay. I'm gonna use this card and see if it does anything for Because there's a couple different kinds of items in here. Uh. Uh. What? Great. Well, that's good. Oh, see? Alright, it just glitched out, which means I can't donate anything to it anymore. I could put a bomb on it and it would donate some money back to me, but I don't want to do that. Get this chest, huh? All right, give me the bomb back. That's cool. Another thing about this game, I think I started to touch on it, but certain walls you can bust through with bombs and usually the best bet is if there's nothing up against it and it's surrounded by three different rooms. All right, so... Nothing surrounding it. Nothing surrounding it on the right or the top. Or the left side. So that's probably a good place to bomb, actually. Woo! Woo! Oh, that's a nickel. Five coins. All right, so we're going to go ahead and try on this side. Boom! <laughs> My voice just cracked like I was going through puberty. All right, so there's no way for me to get there unless I'm flying, or like in Zelda, I have the uh, hand ladder. Oh, I didn't kill everything here before I went through the bomb door. That means they just respawn. No! No! Shit. Fuck you. Fuck you. All right. Yeah, bitch. Oh, most enemies can't turn around, which is great. <laughs> they just start walking away from you, light them up. But then there's these ones that chase you. Ooh, a double locked door and a bomb. All right, so these usually give away some pretty good shit. So I think that's actually a good time to call the episode. Um, if you want to see more of Binding of Isaac after Burst Plus, Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment because everything helps our channel grow and we would truly appreciate it. Again, Geek Culture. Go check everything out, man. There's so much to see. Uh, so, either way, enjoy your evening, morning, or afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching. We'll see you later.